Okay, year 11. Um, I just thought I'd do the last three questions of exercise 9.2, those of you who might be having a bit of difficulty with it. So I'm going to start here with question 8. And I've got a lot of pronumals to find here. <clears throat> and it looks complicated, but it's really rather easy. So let's start by finding alpha. Well, alpha is standing on the same arc as 78 and starts and finishes in the same position. So alpha equals 78 degrees. So this angle up here starts, and so their angles on the circumference standing on the same arc. Beta The same reason because it's standing on this arc here, this blue one I've just drawn here, beta equals 38 degrees. Theta, well that's that triangle in there, so that's just 180 minus 78 minus 38. And that's 180 minus 116, which is 64 degrees. Now, I'm just going to get my calculator out. To find x, well, we've got ratio of intercepts. So remember, x times 8.7 equals 7.1 times 5.4. So x will equal 7.1 times 5.4 divided by 8.7. Seven point one times five point four divided by eight point seven, and it doesn't tell me how far, but I'm going to just go four point four, and that's done. Now number nine, and I'm just going to check the answers. Uh, number nine. While I'm, I'll do number nine while I'm waiting. Uh, it looks very difficult, but it's not. And uh, let's start by drawing a line in here because we have to show CD equals that. That big messy bit there. Well, I'm going to draw. OA and OA is a radius and I know that's 90 degrees um, well how do I know it's 90 degrees it hasn't indicated a circle with the center O has a radius R and a chord AB equal to X I'm assuming that it's at 90 degrees you going to have to be careful there. So let's make that assumption. And I know that this distance is R. So I only need OC. And I know that this distance AC, well, AB is X. So AC equals a half X. A half X. And I can do a bit of Pythagoras here. So, got to find CD. So let's start over here now. CD. Now that equals X, oh sorry, R plus OC. And OC, well, OC squared equals R squared minus 
a half x squared. So OC squared equals R squared minus, well a half squared is a quarter, a half times a half, x squared. Now let's get that as one fraction. Let's make a common denominator. So that'll give us 4R squared on 4 minus x squared on 4. Remember this is OC squared. So OC squared equals 4R squared minus x squared all over 4. Now let's square root all that. And we're going to ignore the negative because we know it's a distance. So it's a square root of 4R squared minus x squared all over 4. And that, well, we can square root the top and leave that alone. So the square root of 4R squared minus x squared. And the square root of 4 on the bottom is 2. So we're almost there. We've got OC now. And we know that CD is R plus OC, which is 4R squared minus x squared on 2. Well, let's make that have a common denominator. So we're going to multiply r by 2 and divide by 2 at the same time, which doesn't change it. So we get cd equals 2r plus the square root of 4r squared minus x squared over 2, which is, exact, is exactly what we needed to show. Now let's look at number 10. And if I look at number 10, I have to prove that these two triangles are similar. And as I said, draw on the diagram. So I know that that angle in there, DEC and CAB are equal because they're angles standing on the same arc. I know that EDC and CBA are equal because of the same reason, angles standing on the same arc. And I know that these two angles are vertically opposite, so they're equal. So let's have a go at this. It's going to be pretty easy to write it up now. And prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle ECDE. Well, first up, put all the stuff about ABC on one side. So angle ACB equals ECD vertically opposite. angles um, C A B equals C E D angles on the circumference standing on the same arc are equal and ABC equals EDC and I'm going to write similarly 
because I'm running out of room. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle CDE. No acronyms here. The reason is that they're equal angular. Now that was part one. Part two, and this is actually proving what we've been using, the ratio of intercepts. We're going to prove that AC times CD equals BC times EC. Now, this is pretty easy because they're corresponding sides in, in similar triangles. So AC on, now look, look up here and you'll see AC is the dot and the X. So AC is in ratio with EC. So AC on EC, remember ratio is a fraction, equals, and let's look up here, go back to the big triangle, BC, which is the X with the uh, line, so BC is in ratio to CD, so BC on CD. Now, if we must, and the reason for that is there, corresponding sides, sides in similar triangles are in ratio. Therefore, multiply by CD and multiply by EC. We can do this both in one go. Some people like to call it cross multiplying. And that means I get AC times CD equals BC times EC, which is what I wanted to show. Or C E E C. So Q is D, as I've demonstrated. So there's the last three questions, eight, nine, and ten. Hope you have a good weekend.